Hi, this is Deepak with TechPP.com, and today we are taking a look at Lenovo's new flagship, the K900. K900 is a slim yet large device it's encased in metal. Mainly the back plate is metal, but the rest of the body is made out of polycarbonate. The build quality is really solid. And it's got a machined industrial look to it. As you can see there are hardly any curves and it's got a blocky shape. It may not be too comfortable to hold if you, if you got small hands but we think it looks pretty nice. If you take a look at the port placement for a while, the micro USB and the 3.5mm audio socket both are placed at the bottom on the left spine a volume rocker on the right the power sleep key and there's a micro sim slot here which is accessed using an eject tool the top is completely barren at the rear you find the main camera the dual LED flash and the speaker. There is no memory expansion slot here. The hardware specifications include a 5.5 inch full HD screen, a 13 megapixel main camera, there is a latest generation Intel Clovertail processor running at 2 GHz. It's a dual core processor with hyper threading built in, 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of non expandable storage. It runs a heavily skinned version of Android 4.2.1. and each and every aspect of the OS is customizable. The 13 megapixel camera is definitely an asset. It turns out some pretty decent pictures. The performance of the phone is quite smooth as well and we didn't face any performance hiccups at all. The gaming performance is pretty decent as well and so is the battery life, got us through a full day's use without any problems. At the current market price, we think the Lenovo K900 is not a bad deal at all, especially considering its striking design, great build quality and a good set of features. This is Deepak signing off.